To say things are out of control is an understatement. The normally idyllic Chinese garden in Vancouver is now a crime scene. And the suspect is not just eating koi, but playing koi. Uh, we did set a trap. Uh, the otter did visit our trap and uh, it took our fish and our tuna and our chicken. The river otter has made a home here. The picky eater seemingly only enjoying parts of the prized fish. It has decimated the population. They're super cute, but they've got vicious little teeth. And as you can see, the damage they've done to these fish. But I went in the other day and I was like, where are all the fish? In the predator versus prey debate, people are taking sides. At this local cafe, the concern for the fish is real. This news is going to get around in like right. otter all, circles. All the otters, yeah. Maybe not, but it's sure making news. Hashtag OtterWatch2018 is trending on Twitter, and a parody otter account has a thousand plus followers. Fish to the otter, I guess. That's... People are even coming here, despite the garden being closed, just hoping for a glimpse. Ideally, I'd like to see him like burst through the water, flop through the air, and smash down Free Willy style. <laughs> Everyone has an opinion. It makes me feel sad because I have koi fish at home. I'm pro koi. I'm pro otter. Ooh. So we have to duke it out yeah. later. A week ago, it was spotted crossing a street. Why it came and how it found the fish is still a mystery. By either maybe smelling the pond, maybe smelling the fish, or maybe it was just a random event. It was passing through that area. The city has set another trap, but this expert says if the otter is caught, a road trip will be its next adventure. They'll keep coming back, often as a group, not just singly, till there's no food left. And they don't want it back, because already it's running up a huge dinner bill. Koi aren't cheap. They were 1000 to $5,000, depending. So buttons are being sold now to raise funds to buy new fish. But you will have to pick sides in the case of Grand Theft Otter. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, Vancouver.